Hey everybody, we're hiking over to the uh, gnarly nugget patch. In addition to the big gnarly that we found, we found a few more small ones in there. So we're pretty confident there's more, but it's far from worked out. So we're going to hike along here. And we'll catch back up as soon as we get over there. Probably got a good 25-30 minutes left on this hike. All right, I'm downstream now from where the big gnarly was, and I've been hunting up there and found a lot of trash, but not a whole lot more gold. And I'm down here where there's some really nice bedrock and book pages, and I have a signal in here. Let's see what the monster's saying on it. Likes it more than it doesn't, but it is a little undecided. And one thing, if you're you know if you're not familiar with book pages and bedrock, is you know often gold gets cra trapped down these cracks. Hi Maya, and it will get trapped way down in here. It can be. It's right there, and some of these cracks are way deeper than they appear to be. So the gold will get in there, it'll fall in, and it will just sit there for until you come and dig it out, hopefully. And this stuff, when the heat, when it gets hot in the summer and it gets cold in the winter, winter, it you know this bedrock will expand and contract and expand and contract and expand and contract, and it'll just sit there and smash the gold and just make it fall even further. <clears throat> it opens up a little bit more when it's hot, it falls down a little further. It'll only be able to go so far. That's why you find gold wedged into these types of cracks and way down in here. It just falls in and it just can, can never get out unless you dig it out. And that's what you should be doing. You should be digging it out. So let's see if we can pinpoint where this is. I've seen a lot of people just walk away from a target like this thinking that it's hot ground. They just swing over and they're like, oh, hot ground. And just keep going. Don't, don't do that. So... The way the morning's been going, this is probably another piece of lead, but it's in the right spot and the monster is liking it more than it's not. So we're going to clean this crack out and see what we get. Let's see what we got here. Take a look here. So, don't see anything shining up right away. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. And there's even, like, you can take a look. There's even more cracks down here than what they originally appeared to be. Ooh, I think I see gold right there. I think that's it. Hi, Maya. Maya's getting excited. She's coming over. Peace. Wide strip. It's gold right there. It's a nice big one. There it is. If I can get it out with my screwdriver. Probably not. It's going to be a hand picker. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is textbook classic. Just like what we were talking about. Wedge down in there smashed flat as a pancake nice very similar to that other one too very similar to that first gnarly look at that sharp point i mean that that's almost i mean that's like winking my finger on a toothpick there and this side is relatively smooth but magic of nature this is pretty rough in here too We're wedged way down this crack i think what i'm going to do is break all this up there's probably some little pieces trapped in here hey girl and uh, Maya's getting in. She's like, all right, now that you found the spot, Dad, I'm going to come in and clean you out. Well, that's what you think, girl. That's what you think. You're going to dig for Dad. That's what you're going to do. So, check it out. It's a beauty of a piece. 
I'm really excited about it. Made my day. Finally a piece of gold. And uh, I was hoping there'd be more of the big gnarlies up that way, but they're not. And you can kind of see where I'm at. You can see the plants in here and all this stuff. And so now it's time to, you know, to keep coming downstream and see what's downstream. So we obviously know there's more gold in here. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to break all this up and see what's in here. I'm hoping there's going to be a few more smaller pieces in here. Usually gold doesn't travel alone. So up there, the big gnarly was all by himself, kind of lonely. And his friends came down here, his family. So this is very similar in size. I'm going to have to get the uh, big gnarly out of the poke and compare it. It looks like a, a brother or a sister piece, but I want to get grandpa. So grandpa and grandma, wherever they're at. So I'm going to keep going and we'll catch up soon.